Hey everybody, I am SimSweetie, and today I will be creating a medieval kind of inspired sim, and her name is Mirabelle Palma, which I love that name. So basically, this sim was definitely inspired by the newly released Dragon Valley, which is a wonderful world from the Sims 3 store, and I will link it down in the description if you would like to buy that world. And this lovely sim, Mirabelle, will be uploaded to Mediafire. If you guys have never downloaded from Mediafire before, I just want to tell you that it is totally safe. And yeah, so you can install Mirabelle so you can kind of play with her. But basically, I decided to go with some dramatic eye makeup. Very black and smoky and just absolutely gorgeous. And I want to say, well, because some content that I am using is safe, so if you want to download her, do not worry about it slowing down your game or, you know getting any viruses or anything like that. So I went with some nice lipstick that's kind of like matte and very natural looking. And then, of course, custom content contacts. And I thought purple would be a nice color because, you know, that's very like out there and kind of wild and yeah. So I changed your eyebrows because I hate those base game eyebrows. They do not look good. So the custom content eyebrows that I'm using, and I actually downloaded some hair specifically for Mirabelle. It's this from Anubis Under the Sun, and I played the color for a little bit, and I went with this, not this color, this color, and I lightened it up a tiny bit, not very much at all, and then I just adjusted. It's not my favorite hair ever, but I think it looked really good on a medieval sim, so yeah, and then I adjusted her body a tiny bit. Okay, and now for the dress. Let me tell you, my game takes forever to load because I have so much installed, but you know what, that's okay. So, I tried on a couple dresses that I downloaded specifically for Mirabelle, but I ended up going with this dress in the end. You can see I'm like scrolling through my options. And by the way, when I upload her, it will be in a dot sim kind of file so if you don't know how to install that I'll try to find a tutorial that I can link down below but if I can't find one then just google it it's really easy I've installed .sim files before and it's super simple so yes okay and then for shoes I know you couldn't really see them so I just went with some Anubis 360 sandals and very simple but yeah so now moving on to her little accessories, I went with some false eyelashes, again even though they might look a little weird, they are safe, and showtime little earrings, and I had on a couple necklaces, and I decided to go with, I believe, yeah, from showtime, a little sapphire necklace, and some, I believe, did I put, I don't know, okay, so she is brave, she is an equestrian, she is good, she loves the outdoors, and she is proper, so some very nice traits here for Mirabelle. Now, her favorite food is crepes. She likes classical music, and her favorite color is pink, and that's how high her voice is. Okay, so there's her finished everyday outfit. Absolutely beautiful. I love her. She's just amazing. Okay, so this is her formal wear. The dress came with Dragon Valley. The shoes are the same, Anubis 360 shoes, and the hair is the same. Okay, for her sleepwear, I want something a little different. The kind of robe is custom content of the hair is in Nibis 360. And now for her athletic, I don't know what to do for athletic, so I went with this little purple ensemble from the Sims 3 store. And next up we have some custom content swimwear. Absolutely adorable. I didn't really know what to do for swimwear, but I love that little swimsuit. And now for her outerwear, I went with another dress that came with a Dragon Valley and some supernatural shoes. Adorable. Okay, and now here's my little mini photo shoot. Remember to subscribe and download Mirabelle to play with her in a Dragon Valley. If you want to, you can tweet me with the pictures of you playing with her. And yeah, I'll see you guys later. Bye!